it's me, Rama, and I wanted to give you this update on my uh, instant static mesh editor feature, which is now part of the Victory Ed Engine plugin, which is now separate from the Victory plugin, the uh, Victory Blueprint library. So this is the Victory Ed. I'll just show you. <laughs> we'll go over to plugins, and you'll see down at the bottom Rama, and you'll see Victory Editor. This is what has the instant static mesh editor in it. And you'll see right here when you have the this thing shows up when you click on uh, static meshes or instant static meshes, you'll see I or Shift I to create them. So right now I have this as an ISM. I'm going to convert it back. Now these are all individual instances. The reason this is so beneficial is because now I can easily edit the instances I can add or I can rotate ones that already exist right and I can also scale them of course now this was something that you could do in my original version and now to get them all back go to world outliner I've made a little folder for them all so they're all organized I'm gonna select all descendants and I'm gonna press I so now it's been converted back into a single actor see that that's this is in the editor this isn't in game you can do it at runtime too but that's in game uh, now I'm in game, and you can run around like this, and they all have collision. But keep in mind, this is only one actor. It's there's no actor bottleneck here. One single actor is all that there is here, and. Uh, in my original version, this didn't work in a package game, however now it does. There's one additional setup you have to do now, which is to go to Edit, Project Settings, Game, Victory Ed Engine, and you have to now pick the instant static mesh class that you want to use. Now, if you haven't made one of your, if you don't have my Victory Blueprint plugin, then you can actually make your own very quickly. Just go to Blueprint, and we're going to say Video ISM. Actually, too early. You say Actor. You say Video ISM, and we're going to add a component instant static mesh and that's all and just drag it over the root because we want it to be the root it's kind of an important step and then just keeps everything nice and clean and that's it that's all you need to do you've now made the video ism now you can use it go to project settings here and you can say video and then you could use yours so that's all you have to do to, to, to completely set up my system now let me explain what my bug was and the reason this didn't work I was previously using a class that was only part of the editor module which doesn't package with the game because you can only use my editor tools within the editor so I wasn't packaging that actor class so the, the package game couldn't find it but now I'm supplying this little interface for you where you can pick your own custom game related class to use and now I'm going to prove you look at this all one actor this is just one single I'm just going to prove it look under no world outliner see it's just video victory ISM. and there's a single actor here it's the one that we just made gonna now package and you're gonna watch this work in a package game which was the problem with my original implementation I'm gonna run around while I'm waiting so I've got him over here I just love this how it's like this it's one single actor but it's like at all this separate collision it's so efficient it's so good <laughs> instant static meshes are so good alright now I'm gonna close the editor and we're going to run the package game sun package it's the name of my project sun <laughs> sun and now look it works look they're here you see them I see them <laughs> they're big and they're red and they made it all the way to the package game. Now, I'm gonna make that jump, ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, now my instant static mesh editor feature works in a package game. Yay! Have fun today!